This is a NIMVITAL quick start video for a parotid procedure. So you're going to want to turn on your NIM. It's the button located here on the bottom right. Once the NIM is turned on, it'll come up to this screen here. You're going to pick default procedure. Here you have different procedures that you can pick. Again, we're doing parotid, so we're going to be clicking head and neck. Once we click on head and neck, there's several different options for parotid. There's parotid two channel, parotid four channel, there's parotid four channel one, two, three, four, and parotid four channel four, one, two, three. For this case, we're just gonna pick parotid four channel four, one, two, three. So if you select that, we're gonna come up to this screen here that's gonna want you to undock your patient interface. So we're gonna undock our patient interface. We're gonna notice our little square here that come up that it was red, now it's green, letting us know that it has read our patient interface. So now that it has seen our patient interface, again, this is all wireless. So that's why it was doing this little sync process. Once it's done here and it's green, you hit your arrow to go to your next part. Here's your next part where you're gonna connect all your electrodes. You're gonna bring your patient interface close to the head of the bed where your patient is located. And for parotid, we're gonna be using our subdermal needle electrodes. So we're gonna have electrodes in the forehead, above the eye, above the lip, and at the mentalis or at the chin. We're also gonna have the electrodes in the sternum, which is our green ground electrode and our return lead. All of that is depicted here on the screen. So here you'll notice the different colors that we're using. All of those colors are also on, this, on the patient interface. If you don't have those electrodes plugged in, the, the patient interface, the number will flash to let you know that those aren't connected. Once you connect those, they automatically go solid to let you know everything is connected. You'll also notice here on the screen, everything will go green. Once everything goes green here, you're just gonna hit the arrow to go to your next procedure. You might ask, why was there a four, one, two, three, and a one, two, three, four? It's just positioning of the electrodes. So for this one here, it has number one as your blue is your eye, number two is your lips, number three is your chin, and number four is your forehead. If we would have picked the other one, then you would have noticed number one was your forehead, number two is your eye, number three is your lip, and number four is your chin. So we picked this one. Now we're gonna go over to our next step, which is just gonna be, we're gonna hit our arrow, and now we're in our main monitoring screen that you're normally gonna use to be able to proceed with your procedure. The NIM wants to be located, or you wanna locate the, the NIM either at the head of the bed or at the foot of the bed. You also want to try for it to be plugged into an, its own outlet. That way it doesn't pick up any interference from any other piece of equipment. Our accessories here are wireless. So our patient interface, again, is Bluetooth. So there's no connection to it from the system. Uh, also, your muting is wireless. So you're muting anytime they use electric cautery. The NIM is going to come up with a warning on the screen that says muting monitoring is disabled. That warning if it's, if it's there for more than 30 seconds, the NIM is going to alarm to let you know that it's muted. Also, the nerve monitor, if any electrode comes out of the patient interface or out of your patient, the NIM will also alarm to let you know that there's an issue so that you can check on that. Thank you.